air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what your person doesn't want you to know right now. And this reading has many specific de specific details that you may not resonate from the beginning to the end. For those of you air signs dealing with another air sign and you're confused if this reading is meant for you, it is meant for you because you're divinely guided to this video and you're the one watching it, not your person. All right, air signs, let's get a reading started. Spirits and name, spirits and Spirits and angels, <laughs> please show me. For as I Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what the person doesn't want them to know right now. They're heartbroken. They're going through healing and recovery. But they still love you. King of Cups could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Yeah, that you are the one they would like to heal this connection with. They're starting to feel much more positive or hoping. Hoping for a healing and recovery. Well, I see a future with you. Okay, I see two different groups of you, okay? Some of you could be separated from this person. Some of you are still with this person. Hmm. Hangman and Wolfers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, the Three of Swords can indicate either, for those of you, if you're separated from your person, they want to heal this connection, they want to reconcile. But if this is someone new, kind of new, relatively new, and everything is like going pretty well, they feel they don't want you to know that you, you have helped heal their heart, maybe because they had a past trauma, or maybe they have gone through a separation, a breakup, so they feel good about you. They feel good about being with you because the star is right here. It's like you have this, this healing power or that uh, you make them feel like whole. That's what I'm getting here. And also we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. So they, feel, they don't want you to know that actually they're thinking about the future, like far, 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 uh, far off far away kind of a future and only if for some of you if this is someone new okay they definitely see a future with you but i don't see them wanting you to know um because they either may be thinking this is too early to say something to you or that they just don't want to scare you off <laughs> but uh, the intention is there though they definitely see a future with you but if this is someone you're separated from through the source of us they don't want you to know that they actually want to heal this connection and they're still very very hopeful that maybe both of you can get back together uh, with the ten of pentacles and build a life together build a legacy together um they also don't want you to know that they you're the one for them and that you they're still very much attracted to you We've got the Nine of Wands here in reverse, and uh, we've got the Temperance, and we've got the Page of Swords here in reverse. Sorry, Page of Wands in reverse. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, strong Sagittarius I'm seeing here. Could be any sign, Aquarius here as well, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Hmm. So, for those of you not really speaking with your person right now, they don't want you to know that they actually haven't given up on this connection yet okay they don't want you to know either that they really would like to restore balance between the two of you and that they've been praying that's what i'm getting here as well they don't want you to know that they've been praying hoping that you would forgive them hoping that both of you can get back together because they love you right king of cups here they don't want you to know that they love you a lot. Um, they have really deep emotions for you. The Five of Cups here in reverse in hopes that you see that about them or that you know that. But if this is someone relatively new again, I see two groups of you, okay? Uh, air signs, just take what resonates with you. If this is someone new, they don't want you to know that oh, they fall in love with you and that they really do love you and they are hoping that Maybe one day that they will tell you. I feel they, they would like to express to you eventually when is the right time. But right now, this moment, they don't want you to know how much they feel for you. How much they're already thinking about getting married and having kids and all of those stuff. Uh, let's see more air signs. So again, two different groups of you. If you're separated from this person, yep, they, want, they don't want you to know that they actually want to make things clear with you they want to speak with you they want to be honest with you and also they've been planning 
full of swords here. They've been planning to want to tell you the truth, wanting to speak with you, um, that how they have changed, and that they may be seeing you in a different perspective. We've got the Queen of Wands here in one first. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or somebody like you are. King of Swords in one first, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we got the Six of Cups here in reverse. Yeah, they don't want you to know that they're actually they try they've been trying their best, the best that they can to not return to you if you're separated from this person. But if this is someone new, yeah, it's like you they don't want you to know that it's because of you that they could walk away from someone from their past, something from their past, could be trauma, and that it helps them feel better about not reconciling with that person and definitely feels better about whatever that may have happened to them here in the past because you make it better, right? You make them feel better. Yeah, and they also don't want you to know that they actually have been very honest super super honest <laughs> because it may seem a little bit uncool to be that honest i don't know i hope that makes sense to you if this is someone you're separated from they don't want you to know that you not attracted to them or you not paying attention to them it's what the it's it, it is what makes them fall in love much deeper for you unless they you know, if they never loved you, just because you're not paying attention to them, they are starting to feel for you, okay, romantically. The magician in reverse, they feel also that right now, they don't want you to know that they feel less than powerful. I definitely sense them praying a lot, hoping here, not both of your paths will cross again if this is someone you separated from. All right, let's see just a little bit more air signs. <laughs> seven of Swords. Oh, okay. Interesting. They also don't want you to know with the Seven of Swords here that uh, if this is someone you separated from, that they, they actually tried to go back to an ex, but it didn't work out. It didn't work out. And the Page of Pentacles right here, and we've got the world here and reverse. They are stuck. They still haven't moved on yet. The Seven of Swords also can indicate them uh, planning about sneaking their way back into your life if you're separated from this person. They could also be planning a message, send you a message with the Page of Pentacles here to offer you commitment. But if this is someone's kind of new, okay, again, Yep, I feel like the intention is to stick around because they definitely see you as the Ten of Pentacles. You're someone they would like to spend the rest of their life with. They also don't want you to know how attractive you are to them. Like, they don't want to exaggerate it. I mean, they may tell you a little bit, but it's actually way more than that. So you make them go crazy here, especially if this is a new person. If there's someone from your past and you separated from, they're planning something here. They don't want you to know that they're planning to write you a message, um, something, someone of sorts strategizing something here so that you will forgive them, so that you would agree to see them, speak with them, and reconcile with them. All right, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Hope this reading serves you well. If you resonate in some way, shape, or form, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description description box below. And if you'd like to watch more of your readings, your bonus readings especially, I know a lot of you prefer to watch your bonus readings, which is a single horoscope reading. Um, you can click on the bonus compilation reading playlist and scroll the way down and look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. I did it for Gemini and Aquarius because these two air signs are the ones with the highest view. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter collective or single horoscope reading. Um, I base it on my collective readings as well. If the views are kind of low, I, if I will feel demotivated to post the bonuses <laughs> for that specific sign. So I hope you, uh, hope you understand. But anyway, um, if you don't want to miss any of my readings for you, uh, you can click on the 
bell notification button and you can customize it the, the way you want it I don't know how to do it but you can check that uh, check that feature out okay all right air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius hope to see you back here again soon take care bye